So Madden NFL 18 is finally here, and now I can finally start my brand new and New York Giants franchise mode for the season. So let's go ahead and go start this brand new franchise mode. So a couple days before we went and chose my brand new team and I chose the New York Giants as my team for this season. So 82 overall, 85 offense, 85 defense. Top players obviously OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr. at 93 overall. Then we have the strong safety Landon Collins, 92 overall. Then we have Jason Pierre-Paul, 89 overall at left end. So looks pretty good for us. But now it's time to go and choose our starting point. So preseason, we're gonna start there obviously because you get all the cuts, you can see what players stay, what players go. We just get more of an opportunity to go and control this team from the start. So we'll choose preseason obviously right there. Then our role for this season. So we have coach, player obviously is not in the in there. Then we have owner. So if we were to own the team, you can manage and coach the team obviously, rebuild or relocate set prices for everything you sell, and get feedback from advisors. So if I were to play as owner, it would kind of get in the way of me actually controlling the team because I'd be worrying about finances and like building the stadium and all doing all that other extra stuff that doesn't need to be done for a franchise mode. Plus, it's a New York Giants, you're probably never going to move them ever because they're in New York, they're a staple of the city, so we're obviously going to go and choose coach for this season. And right now, we have to go and create a coach, obviously, because we're not going to take an active coach. It just doesn't work that way with these franchise modes. So, we have Motivator increases the backstory. This backstory increases the amount of influence you have in trades. That's pretty good for me. Strategist, uh, extra scouting points, not that bad. And Team Builder. I think Team Builder is what I want to be because you get more XP, it's just better overall. So, my name for this season, I got to think about this one actually because I have no clue what I'm going to choose. So if Chris Dale, I'll, I'll go and pick something out and then I'll go and show you. Okay, so if you if you remember a movie back in the 90s, it was a pretty funny movie based on football, obviously. It's called The Water Boy, and the main coach in the movie had overcome his fear of Coach Red, and his name is Coach Klein. Bobby! Water sucks. Gatorade is better. Right. And there's no first name for him in the movie at all. I can't find him, but he's played by Henry Winkler. Hilarious character, obviously, one of the best movie football movies I'd say that I've ever watched. So Coach Klein, I tried making him as close as possible to what he looks like in the movie, but I cannot find, like, there's not really that much options you can do for adjusting a coach and customizing him. So it's about as close as I can get. You got the polo t-shirt, you got the older looking face. I couldn't change hair color or anything, or even add his signature bucket hat on him as well. So Coach Klein... That's going to be my coach name for this season in Man NFL. But first things first, offensive styles. We're going to take Ben McAdoo's offensive playbook and uh, his defensive playbook as well because we can't make our own like he did in the movie. That is so good and there is the reason why the Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl. So let's go and take that over right there and let's go and start this one off here in the preseason. Before we do that though, let's go and check out our skill levels. And this is last season, we started off all Madden, or at least we got to all Madden, we played most of the games in all Madden. We'll keep the same league type, we'll just go and do all, trade deadline, all, instant starter. We just leave that on because it doesn't matter for us. Trade type, we'll allow that, coach firing. Um, we'll go and, let's go and, yeah, we'll go CPO only because we don't want to get fired after the first year because sometimes... If you have a bad year, they go and just fire you automatically. It just doesn't work that way. I want to actually build this team up without having fear. My job's going to be lost. But salary cap, leave that on, obviously. We got relocation normal, injury on, pre-existing injury on. Practice squad stealing, we'll have that on because it's realistic. Prayer pro player progression, okay. So we'll go weekly for this one because you want your players to get better every week. We'll leave it that. And then quarter length for the gameplay videos. So I think last year was doing 8 or 9 minutes, I can't remember at all, but we'll go probably 10 minutes because 12 minutes is way too long, and 10 minutes just seems pretty much good. Then we'll leave the same for the rest of that, and then everything will be set to manual, and yeah, it sounds pretty good. Actually, wait, we'll go and get rid of that because we want to fill our roster ourselves. Progress players, we'll leave it like that, I guess, for now because they know what to do. And no tutorial pop-ups right there. So now we're finally in this year's franchise mode. So first thing I notice out of everything else that's changed in this franchise mode is the fact that they've changed the background to make it like, I don't know, like a sun is there, like we're shining down on greatness or something. But it looks pretty nice, so I like the change, the aesthetic in the background. And pretty much everything else seems the same 
It looks like these things are black instead of blue last season, and pretty much that's all I noticed at this point, but everything else seems about the same as last season, and just maybe the font type looks a little bit sharper than last season too. But now we're finally in, Coach Klein is now finally a member of the New York Giants family as head coach of the team, and right now, take a look at this roster right now, we'll go do a roll roster overview just to see the team and see what we have on this team to start off this franchise mode. So first thing first, best team player on the team, Odell Beckham Jr., 95 overall, 24 years old, and then he, like obviously one of the best receivers in the NFL, he's going to stay on the team for the rest of the, his career in this franchise mode at least. Then we'll start off first with being first with quarterbacks. So 83 overall, 36 year old Eli Manning, a legend himself, two Super Bowl rings. I mean, he's the Patriot killer for a reason, and yeah, he's going to be your starting quarterback for the season one at least. Then our backup, you have Geno Smith on your 74 overall. I don't know, Geno Smith. I'm, I'm not going to guarantee he's going to be on the roster by the end of the preseason, but. I really just don't like him on this team. We'll see if he can change something up if possible. But then next, we have Davis Webb, 74 overall, 22 years old. He is a rookie. Not too bad right there. Then we have Josh Johnson there, 31 years old, 65 overall. So he might get cut possibly at the end of the preseason. Next thing up is running back. So we have Shane Vereen there, 83 overall, 28 years old. We have Paul Perkins, 78, 22 years old. Then we have Orleans uh, Darqua, 77 overall, 25 years old. Then we have Sean, 75 overall, 29 years old. And Gallman at 73 and 22 years old as well. So a lot of running backs, pretty good talent uh, pool right there. Then our fullback, we have Rhett Ellison, 79 overall, 28 years old. Not that bad. Then wide receivers. So this, this, this is the part that I'm pretty happy about. And this looks fantastic as of right now. 95 overall, Oda Beckham Jr. We've seen him before. We've introduced him before as well. And then we have Brandon Marshall, 87 overall, 33 years old. One of the best wideouts, I'd say, in the NFL. Then we have Sterling Shepard there, 82 overall, 23 years old. He's got a break a future ahead of him here in New York. Then we have Dwayne Harris, 72 overall. We have Norwood, 72, 70 overall. King, 68. We have Roger Lewis Jr. there, 67 overall, 23 years old. And we have Rudolph there, 66 overall, 21 years old. So you have a few young receivers. Nobody under the age, or nobody over the age of 30 besides Brandon Marshall. So it's a pretty young position there on the team. Then we have a tight end. We have actually a pretty young rookie here. You have 22 years old, 77 overall. We have uh, Evan Ingram. He's not that bad at the position. We have Will Ty, 75 overall, 25 years old. Then we have Drill Adams, 66 overall. We have Lacrosse, 65 overall. And then you have Zach Darosi. He's not going to stay on the team at 55 overall, 33 years old. He's gone for sure. Then at left tackle, we have Eric Flowers there, 75, 23 years old. You have Michael Bowie, 72 overall, 24 years old. And we have Adam there. Don't want to really attempt that right now. At 67 and 23. So this team, so far, first impressions. It is a very young team though, I'm loving not seeing too many older guys that are automatic cuts because this makes it a little bit more difficult. This means the cuts will be based on the preseason most likely because the age difference doesn't really matter too much to me as long as they're under the age of 30 and they're developing always. But uh, at left guard we have Justin Poe there, or Pug at 85 overall, 27 years old, great left guard. And we have Geddes there at the backup at 65 overall. Then at center we have Winston, Weston Richburg there, 87, 26 years old. Great player right there. And we have Brett Jones from the Canadian Football League, 69 overall, 26 years old, still developing. And next up is our right guards. We have John Jerry, 78 overall, 31 years old. We have Dunker there, 66, 24 years old. And we have Halapio at 63 and 26 years old. Then right tackle, we have Fluker at 78, 26 years old. We have Bobby Hart at 74 overall, 23 years old. Then at left end, we have Jason Pierre-Paul, missing a few fingers there, 90 overall, 28 years old, still young, and getting it done, even with a few fingers missing. They have Aquora at 74 overall, 22 years old, and then we have Wynn there at 69 and 26 years old. Then at right end, we have Olivier Vernon there, and he's 89 overall, 26 years old. At backup, we have Devin Taylor at 73. They have Moss at 69 as a rookie. And then we have, I don't want to attempt that name at all, that's pretty tough to say, but 68 overall, 25 years old there. And then D-tackle, we have Damon Harrison, 88 overall, great starter right there. We have Corbin Bryant at 76 overall, Tomlinson at 74 as a rookie, 
you have Bromley at 73, Robert Thomas 68, Jerry Jaron Jones at 67, and you have Jordan Williams at 64 overall. Then at left at linebacker, you have Devin Kennard at 82 overall, and then back up we have Herzlich at 71. Then at middle linebacker, this is a position so far I'm looking at is probably the weakest one you have in the team as 73 overall as our starters. So maybe look in the free agency, see if there's any young linebackers on this in the free agency that can maybe play this season. Because 73, I'm not really comfortable with that on our team unless he has some great stats that are needed for a middle linebacker. But uh, nonetheless, right to linebacker, we have Jonathan Casillas at 76 overall, 30 years old. You have Thomas the third at 74 overall, 66 overall Deontay Skinner, and then 62 overall Pinkins. Then we go to cornerback. Corner, both our corners looking great there. Actually, the first three look amazing right there as we have Dominique Rogers Cromarty at 90 overall, 31 years old, great corner in the league. Daenerys Jenkins at 90 overall, 28 years old. Then we have Eli Apple there, second year player out of Ohio State, 77 overall, 22 years old. Then we have Valentino Blake at 72 overall. Then we have Michael Hunter at 62 overall, 24 years old. Now we have a free safety, we have Andrew Adams, 80 overall, 24 years old, great play right there. Then you have Darian Thompson at 869 overall, then you have Mikel Thompson at 63 overall, then we have Jadar Johnson at 57 overall. And now at strong safety of Landon Collins, 23 years old, 93 overall, this man is amazing. He is going to be a great start of the season on defense. Then you have Duke Ahin at Nacho, I don't know how to say that well. I'm butchering that completely but uh, uh 76 overall 28 years old then we have ryan murphy at 68 overall 24 years old and then we have nat at 67 overall 26 years old now a kicker though kicker this one we might be able to find somebody in the free agency but then again it'd be nice to go and develop a kicker like alderic rosas at 69 overall 22 years old let's see his development actually normal development so I don't know, he might develop or not, but we'll see if there's any better kickers in the free agency to begin off the season. But next up, at puncher, we have Brad Wing at 75 overall, 26 years old. So that is our roster this season. We did the roster overview. And first impressions, though, obviously, is our team is very young. It's not like it's got some pretty good talent there at most positions, but number one, we got to find a middle linebacker and possibly look at maybe finding a kicker as well on this team. Because right now, I'm all concerned about that middle linebacker position. Other than that, though, our team is pretty solid on as our starters. The backups need a little bit of work, but then again, we'll find that throughout the season, possibly through trade or free agency. But right now, First impressions, great roster. I think we could probably do well this season. I don't know about making the playoffs, though. We, I'm not really sure if we could do that, but I mean, we'll have a solid record, though. I doubt we'll do that bad in our first season in the Giants organization. But other than that, though, we'll take a look first thing at our free agency. So, go look for a middle linebacker, look for a kicker, but most importantly, just look at the free agency and see what's available in the league so number one overall player in the free agency using that roster update i found online and we have michael burton there 87 overall 25 years old fullback and then we have felton another fullback 84 overall then we have the recently retired anquan bolden there 84 overall 36 years old and then we have Tremaine Brock, 83 overall, 29 years old. Then we have middle linebacker Perry Riley Jr. there. Here's a guy we could probably maybe pick up to go and comfort ourselves at the position. But he is 83 overall, 29 years old. Let's see his stats right now. He's got 80 speed, 89 tackling, 85 block shedding, 86 hit power. I mean, he's pretty good though. He would do really pretty decently there on the end. But if we were to sign him there, 4.02 mil, not that bad of a cap hit for our starter possibly at middle linebacker but uh we'll still look at some more players in the free agency first before we do anything right now but we have jacob Ch tam right there 83 overall tight end we have d'angelo williams let's go and take a look quickly here at some of the players we have nick mangold there we have uh vincent jackson who, who else is on here actually we have gary barnger they're from the browns before i remember seeing him last uh, franchise mode, but Darrell Revis there, Revis Island, 81 overall, 32 years old, it'd be funny to sign him, but we have no need for cornerbacks at all, he'll be sucking the free agency, not signing with the Giants, but uh, then we have Austin Pazator, we saw him, I remember last season in the Browns, I don't know if I just picked him up or if he's on the team to begin with, but he's on here though, we have Brandon Flowers there, 80 overall, 
anything else that's actually interesting. Then we have v Vince Wilfork there, retired in that funny video there, it looked like a lumberjack, but 80 overall, 35 years old, a D-tackle. Anything else on here, we got Roy Miller the third. We have Justin Durant, I think he signed with a different team, I think he signed the Dallas Cowboys earlier on, but I don't know why he's not on Dallas. But uh, anything else, Dwight Freeney, Eddie Royal, pretty interesting free agents to begin off this franchise mode. A few of them I kind of want to sign, but at this point we'll go and just take a look at first thing at on here, which is practice squad eligible. So we got to build our practice squad eventually, and right now is probably a good time to go and scout with some players for the squad. So we do have a few players in here that are young, and see if they're actually not that bad for the team. So we have guys like Greg Milhouse there, 22 years old, 68 overall. Let's see this dude's stats. He's not that bad though. He's got 81 strength. 77 tackling, 77 block shedding, 79 power moves, pretty decent there for the practice squad. Then we have guys like, we'll probably check out some wide receivers too, D Dajay Johnson there. I actually want to see some speedy players first, actually. These speedy guys, we have Colby Listonby at 68, 23 years old, 94 overall speed, he's pretty fast, flying around the field there, but um... He would be the bad that bad at all for the practice squad. So next episode we'll go sign some free agents, fill out the practice squad, do all that kind of stuff in the next one. And I guess on this episode off here, episode one of the Giants franchise mode. Make sure to like subscribe for more of this franchise mode, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.